Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to move your photos from your PC gallery to Google Drive. This is perfect if you downloaded photos from your phone or camera to your computer and now want them back up online. Let's get started. First, let's access your Google Drive. Open your browser and head over to drive.google.com. Sign in to your Google account if you're not already logged in. Just use for that your Google account credentials. Once you're in, you'll see the main Google Drive interface with your files and folders. Now, let's upload those photos to Google Drive. Click the new button on the left hand side of the screen. From the drop down menu, select file upload if you want to upload individual photos or folder upload if you want to upload an entire folder from your computer. A file explorer window will pop up allowing you to browse your computer for the photos or folders you want to upload. Select the photos or folder and click open. The upload process will begin immediately. You'll see a progress bar at the bottom right corner of your screen showing how long the upload will take. Now that photos are uploaded, let's organize them in Google Drive. Navigate to My Drive in the sidebar to view the uploaded files or folders. If you want to move them into a specific folder, simply right click on the photo or folder. Select Move To and then choose an existing folder or create a new one by clicking New Folder. This helps keeps your Google Drive organized especially if you're uploading a lot of photos. To leave space on your PC and ensure your photos are accessible from anywhere, you can delete the local copies from your computer once the upload is complete. For automatic syncing between your PC and Google Drive, download the Google Drive for Desktop app, which lets you sync specific folders from your computer to your Google Drive automatically. And that's it, that's how you know how to move your photos from your PC to Google Drive easily. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.